Welcome to my channel. In this video, uh, we will change the rinse pump of a rack type dishwashing machine to use it properly. The issue of this rinse pump is creating a lot of sounds. The issue on the burning side. Instead of uh, removing and replacing the bearing, we will try to swap a new one to make sure it turns properly. Let's start to change it. Let's uh, familiarize all the situation of this machine on the input uh, pipe or input of the water line the pipings going to the output of the water line so we need to change or we need to remove this to make it installed This is a component of this uh, rinse pump. We need to remove also the wiring in this uh, box. As you see, it is very dirty, so we need to clean this also. This is the wiring of the motor, so we need to familiarize or we need to take note the color coding of the terminals of the wire should be same place when we took this one. So after removing the four bolts or four nuts of the motor and the hose clips of the input and output pipe, so we remove the motor and it looks like this. let's take a look for the new motor this is the new pump we need to double check if this is the same as the old one before fixing the bolts and the wiring so same size same capacity same pump same wiring so put back the bolt and nuts the four bolts and nuts which hold the full pump the base plate before fixing this uh, input pipe with the hose clips and the output pipe on the top We put back all the hose clip, the input water uh, line and the output. So we need to check now if any 
other issues we need to fix in this area before we go to the wirings so this is the motor wirings we need to put back the same color of the same terminal so we can uh, run it properly with the same direction so that the flow of the water going to the output so white black and brown make sure all the terminals or the nuts of the motor terminal must be tight to avoid loose connection and to avoid the burning of the motor so we fix now everything even the connection of the motor it's ready to run double check everything what is missing and if all tight and ready to run we hope no more leaks also and the clips are already tightened Let's start the machine by filling, but we need to take some time to fill the water inside this machine before we run it and we make sure that the pump, uh, rinse pump is working properly. After waiting for some time, now we see that uh, it's starting to have a steam inside the machine, but we need to make it more before we run it properly to get the correct temperature inside the water tank. Now it is enough, we already reached the temperature, heating 61.84, so ready to run. We need to run the washing, so we can run it properly like this. On. The machine is running now, so we need to double check the rinse pump. If there's no leak on the pipe, if not, it's already finished. So I think no drops of water. Everything is tight, and we put back everything properly. Let us double check everything before we leave this uh, machine running. No leaks, we already cleaned that, uh, that part. 
So everything is on uh, proper now.